Time now for our snapshot profile. Today we meet a woman who works just a couple dozen feet from our studio. By day, she's a talented IT professional solving computer problems across the district. By night, she's a national champion in a sport you've probably never heard of. The sounds are unmistakable. Jew. In the dimly lit gym at Vancouver's Marshall Elementary School, these athletes are playing a game you've probably never heard of. Pickleball. Yeah, right? Most people don't. They're like, pickleball, what's that? Good question. I think of it as mini tennis. Whether you consider it mini tennis or giant ping pong, pickleball is a growing sport and one of the country's very best players, Chris Barksdale, is from right here in Vancouver. I get kind of embarrassed when people talk about it. 1071. <laughs> That kind of modesty is typical for Chris, who works in the IT department at Vancouver Public Schools. Quietly, efficiently, and always with a smile, Chris helps keep the district's computers up and running. Only recently have her coworkers learned that beneath that gentle facade lies a cold-blooded pickleball machine. Chris has always not really been real out you know, Fort Worth with her pickleball stuff. So as soon as I found out, I started looking online and I'm like, holy crap. All right, Hunter, it's our big break, come on. Well, cold-blooded may be going a bit too far. She's super friendly um, and she's very like excited, I think, about life and things like that. So she kind of draws you in to like want to play and be around her. Chris picked up the sport just a couple of years ago when her father introduced her to the game. So I played tennis since I was a little girl and so that kind of helps you when you translate your skills. You can kind of use the same shots, the same everything. And it didn't take long before others noticed her play. It was actually one of the people I played here with. He was like, yeah, I think you're, yeah, do you want to play mixed doubles? You're going to be pretty good. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how I'm going to be yet, but we'll see. So. It turned out that he was right. In 2013, Chris traveled to Arizona for the national championships. All of a sudden, a game she plays for fun had much bigger stakes. You, get, you know, even though it's still pickleball, I get really nervous. Chris won the mixed doubles championship for players 19 and older and the women's singles championship for players 35 and older. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's really awesome. Um, I think it's a big accomplishment, so. Despite her status as the nation's best, Chris still approaches the game with the same modesty and humor that her competitors and coworkers have come to expect. I don't even know that I'm good. I still think I'm not any good. <laughs> Yet I go out and I play and I'm like, oh, I do beat a lot of people. So it's kind of a two-edged sword. It's like, I really don't think I'm that good. But, you know, whatever. I'm still beating a lot of people, I guess. <laughs> Thanks. If you're interested in playing pickleball, Chris suggests you start by heading to the Columbia River Pickleball Club's website. Yes, there is one. The easiest way to find it is to Google Vancouver Pickleball and it'll pop right up. You can find open courts on most days of the week that are open to beginners.